Hi everyone. Okay, what I'm going to show you right now is how to use your calculator to make some conversions here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert from radians to degrees. Now to do that, uh, using your calculator, um, what we're going to do here first of all is make sure that the calculator is in the mode that we're converting to. So we're going to make sure that we're in degree mode. Okay, over to degree mode. Go back to the, the settings here, or sorry, the home window. And then what we're going to do is we're going to enter in 6. Okay. Then we're going to go second apps, okay? So second apps right here to get into our angle menu. And what we're going to do here now is we're going to go down and we're going to identify that that 6 is actually a radian. And when we press enter, it will convert it to a degree measure. So this is 340, well, essentially 344 degrees, okay? Now we can do the same thing with this second angle here, 4 pi over 3. Uh, but when we do 4 pi over 3, we just need to make sure that we put this in brackets uh, because when we tell the calculator that this is a radian, okay, when we go back into our second apps and we go down and tell it a radian, if we don't put the brackets around it, only the 3 will be picked up as a, as a radian measure here. So now we press enter and we get 240 degrees. Okay. This works the other way as well. We can convert a degree measure to radians. What we need to make sure is that we are in radian mode. We need to be in the mode that we're converting to. Okay, and so I'm gonna put 20 in brackets, or sorry, 20 in brackets. I go back into my, again, my angle menu, which is second apps. And this time, it's the very first option. I'm gonna tell a calculator that this is a degree. Now. I'm going to get a weird decimal here, 0.349, okay, so 0 0.349, uh, but you know, we don't typically write radians like that. Well, the reason why there's that weird decimal there is because, as with most radian measures, there's a pi in there. So let's divide out the pi, okay? Let's take that number and divide out the pi. Okay, now that looks a lot more promising. Now I'm going to use my math menu, convert that to a fraction and I get one ninth. Now that's one ninth without the pi, so I put pi back in, and that's pi over nine. Okay, so let's do that again with 225. Okay, brackets, 225, close brackets, uh, go into my angle menu again, tell the calculator that that is a degree, press enter, and we get 3.93 but I suspect that I can do better than that, so I'm gonna try dividing out the pi again. So divide out the pi. Oh, that's a, a much nicer, much nicer decimal value. Convert that to a fraction, five quarters. So what this means is that this angle measure here is five quarters of pi. Now that same kind of thinking can also be applied uh, when we're trying to evaluate uh, the sine of pi over three or something like the tangent of pi over six. I'll show you what we're doing here. Um, when you go backwards, sorry, when you go from a, an angle to a ratio here, and I'm going to make sure that I'm in radian mode here, uh, the ratios typically have square roots in them, if you think back to your unit circle or your special triangles. So if I enter in sine of pi divided by 3, okay, I get a really weird decimal, 0 0.8660 repeating. Uh, I know that I can write this in an exact formal. I can do this by squaring that decimal and I get 0.75. Now it's because I'm anticipating a radical in there. Convert that to a fraction by using the math frac menu and I get three quarters. Now that three quarters is a result of squaring that ratio. So now I put a square root back in here. So the square root of three quarters, uh, the square root of four is two, the square root of three is, well, root three. I don't know what that is. So the sine of pi over three is root three over two. We can do the same thing with a tangent of pi over six. Okay, tangent of pi divided by six. Uh, again, I'm getting a really strange decimal in here, but I'm anticipating that this is because of a, radi uh, sorry, a, a radical in there, a square root. So I square that result, uh, I get 0.33, change that to a fraction, uh, one third, which tells me now if I put the square root back in, this is square root of one third, or one over root three. And then if I need to, I could rationalize this to get root three over three. That's how you can use your calculator to both convert uh, between radians and degrees and to do the trig ratios and put them into exact form.